just going to show you how to make a report uh, that you might want to look at particular pages uh, within your website. So I'm going to choose a blank report and I'm just going to select uh, the Google Merchandise Store. Uh, so I click in here. It's the demo account. Uh, the Universal Analytic and the Master View and Add. So I've now added uh, the data to this particular uh, report um, and then click on Add to Report. Okay, and so it, it takes in a certain amount of data. I'll just stretch it out and move, maybe move it down. Um, so, um, so yeah, actually we did want page title over here. That's absolutely fine, but we don't want new users uh, or maybe we could include in um, so we could add in a uh, bounce rate. OK, um, and I'd like to see how these compare with the average. So I'm going to add in a uh, bounce rate again. And on this one here in the second bounce rate, uh, I'm going to click on the little pencil uh, and then I'm going to say comparison. So there are two options here when you choose a percent of total. There's relative to corresponding data and there's relative to base. So relative to base uh, is comparing the current uh, performance with uh, the performance in the previous period. So we'll choose uh, relative to base. Um, so I don't really like the way this one is displayed. So I'd actually like that like a bar chart because it's kind of easier to see. So I'm going to go over to style and that will be column uh, within the metrics. It'll be column one, two, three. Column three is what I'm looking for. So scroll down uh, metrics column one, metrics column two, metrics column three. Now we don't want it to be a number. What we'd like is, for example, a heat map or a bar. So I think we'll go with bar. And you can see now here um, how the bounce rate uh, is. And you can see it. it it's quite a, a visual way of looking uh, at the different uh, bounce rates. And um, so that's uh, quite good. But actually, maybe we don't want to look at all of the uh, pages. And actually, the only pages we want to look at, and because I'm using the Google um, sample uh, data, I'm going to look for uh, just pages that have the word hoodie or pull over in their title. And then we're going to look at those uh, particular pages. Um, so then we're going to um, click on add control, uh, drop down list uh, up the top. And in here, we could just select it this way if we wanted to. Or another way to do it is to select the table down here and on the data uh, screen over here, come down here and click on add filter. So down here, um, this this I find quite useful. So what we're going to say is include and we're going to say uh, page title, page titles uh, that contains. And in here, we're going to type in hoodie. Or include page title that contains pullover. So now it's only going to show us pages that have in the title the word hoodie or page titles that have uh, the word pullover. So it's generally or if you're doing a uh, include. And so we'll click on save. And now you can see in here we've got hoodie, pullover, hoodie, hoodie, etc. down here. Um, so that's uh, one way of looking at it. Another thing we could do is we could add an additional dimension. So if we added the dimension source medium, uh, source medium. And then we can see where the uh, the traffic was coming from. And so here you can see, um, you know, some, a lot of it is direct uh, and some of it and, and we can sort it, for example, by page title and we can click on that and, and sort it. Uh, by take by page title um, and so you know you can sort of build up these ones here so this page we could actually put in um, a, a heading and we can say um, pull over and hoodies um, and so this page every time we, we look at it and um, will be showing us and um, we could increase the font size or whatever um, uh, every time uh, 
we run this, it will show us the current uh, information for any page that has pullover or hoodies uh, in the title. Um, and again, you could think about any page that has the word golf in it or any page um, that has uh, the word uh, restaurant in it. And then you could compare how different pages, if you were doing something like A-B testing, to see the performance of each of these pages. And you could just keep opening up this uh, report and it'll give you the current information.